Weirdest name you heard was a teacher friend had a student named Absidy, and it was spelled A B C D E. Wow, that that reminds me of uh, Sesame Street. Big Bird goes to a classroom and sees like the alphabet written above the blackboard, and was like, "Ab could check if knock where Stuart says," and he has a whole song. Ab could check if knock where Stuart says. Thinks that he thinks that's one long word. Yeah. Was there a Richard in the damn long family? There was not, uh, not the damn side though. I know, I know where you're going with that, but there was a Richard long, but he doesn't, but men don't have maiden names. So, so it wouldn't work. <laughs> um, oh, that's cute. Look at that little guy, little Buffalo. Even if it wasn't recited perfectly, it's surprising how eloquently you were. You know what? I would get into things like that as a kid. Like I was, I was big into writing stuff down and trying to memorize them. Like difficult to say things, songs. I learned how to uh, phonetically say a song from Les Mis in Dutch, just because I thought it sounded cool. Things like that. Yes, I heard about Sal Manila. It's a great name. I went to school with a Martin Schock von Brockdorf. His last name was Schock von Brockdorf. You learned all the songs phonetically. Yeah, that's what I did, lover man. I would do it with musicals uh, in foreign languages. One of my friend's dads uh, had a huge movie and audio collection in his basement, like cataloged, like he had a giant book. Like when you walked in, that you could open up and see where something would be. And I would look up like Broadway shows and like Cats or Les Mis, and he would have all the different languages and I'd just go find them and make copies of them and listen to them and stuff. It was great. It was fantastic. All right, let's go get our scratch offs. Ah, the Dutch lame is I will never forget. That was fun times, right? Well, down in the dunkel, there flucked in Monday, wet in the boch. Within the book, hottest potato. There you go. Here's a little sample. Like as a, you know, when you're when you're a teenager and you hear that, you just must go and write down all the words and try to repeat them. Uh oh, are we gonna get a one, two, three? Am I gonna get lucky like Vox and get the ten thousand? Here we go. Survey says. <laughs> No. No, no, no. One forty four. Damn. Give me the ten K. Give me the ten K. Good morning, Gamer Knight. What's up? All right. All right. Two. Six. Hmm. Ooh. We can go for 789 over here. 789. 306. All right, fine. Last but not least. Must needs go and learn songs, shows in a foreign language bog. Yes. Must needs. Do, do, do. We got a three in the middle. Oh, I misclicked. I misclicked it. Could be one, two, three in the diagonal. Here we go. One, two, three in the diagonal. Oh. 720 is not bad, though. That's not bad. Not a terrible day. Fine. Fine. 
Let's go to the gatekeeper. Eleven twenty. So in three minutes. What is it? What was the event? It's gonna be the jumping puzzle, isn't it? It's the jumping puzzle. We'll see. Yeah, I know they run every 20 minutes. Three minutes. Tito, it should not surprise you that people of all different physicalities and interests get into theater and movies and TV. It was funny, we, in high school, we had typical cliques of uh, kids when I was in high school. We, and I was part of a, I was part of like the theater geeks, right? My high school did four shows a year. They were it was really involved in theater. My uh, high school theater teacher still, still friends with him on Facebook. Amazing person, big influence on my life. Um, we had one year when we were putting on a play and as a goof, some, like, I don't know, three or four, like, football guys tried out for the play. Just, just to be a goof, right? And, uh, they all got, they, they all got, like, minor parts being, like, uh, like, guards in the play or whatever. And then it was funny just watching them have to show up for rehearsal and stuff like that. And to their credit, they showed up and they did their role and everything like that. But I always thought it was funny that they were probably just, like, randomly just goofing off one day when they auditioned. And they suddenly realized, oh, <laughs> this is a commitment. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't, uh, Tito, I think you're, I think what you, your, your conversation is kind of odd to me. Yeah, why, why would what your physical build have anything to do with what hobbies and interests you like? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, whoops. You know what sucked though? It, it, it would, what it sucked for me from the, the high school click perspective is these guys that were in the play, they would interact with you like like me uh, and the other actors and stuff. Like normally when we were in theater rehearsal and everything like that and during the whole thing of the play and then once the play was over, it was like right back to like not giving you the time of day. In fact, one of them was a jerk who threw me on the ground and with his sneaker stepped on my forehead and went like that, smeared backwards until I had a big red mark across my head. You know? It's like, who does that? Jerk. And you can see I'm obviously over it. Oh, this is the music. I forgot. This is the music that gets stuck in my head. Oh my god. I've literally had naps where this song was running constantly in my head. I've also learned that a name for this jumping puzzle is make Azaria log out of the game. <laughs> There's been two times now that we've done this together and both times has ended with her finishing and then logging out. Is it the Chocobo song? It, It's different though. It's different. This one has like the tweet, 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 tweet. It's not, it's not a different arrangement of it. Hear the tweets. 
I will go outside after this and I will put on the Chocobo song. It's different. Oh, it's not the song. Oh, okay, okay. My God, I can't even make this first jump. Yeah, it's not the Chocobo song. I thought it was the Chocobo song as well. And then I remember like coming out of here, getting on my Chocobo and going, no, oh, it's actually a different song. The, what is, is my space bar? My space bar is literally not working. Good morning, everybody. There we go. I did the first jump. Tweet, tweet. Tweet! Look at the little black mage. Hey, what am I stuck on? There's like an imaginary turtle there. Oh. It might help if I'm not a lumbering beast. That's true. But you know me. I have to be a lumbering beast. Tweet, tweet. And that part right there, that's, that reminds me of like Wipeout. Do, 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 do. There's a little bit of a... Reminder of that song to me. Uh, do we go for it? Let's go for it. No! Just shorted it. You had someone all caps at me to move in a jumping puzzle? How funny. And is this the only jumping puzzle in the game? No? Okay. Can I make that jump? Yeah. I'm gonna go get the finish line first before I attempt. Please don't fail. That was close. Yikes! Yes! Hey, look, I got mom backs. Hey, everybody! Am I allowed to leave? How do I leave? Yes. 4,000 MGP. So click it. There's two different golden saucer puzzles. Oh, I've only ever done that one. And there's one in the X-Pac main cities. Oh, okay. You're obsessed with jumping puzzles? Lover man, I, I think it was you. We were talking about Guild Wars 2 yesterday, right? Guild Wars 2 has a ton of jumping puzzles. Some of them really cool. Some of them vile and evil. Yeah. All right, so we have to go to Camp Drybone. 
Yeah, Guild Wars 2 is part MMO and part jumping puzzle of the game. Yeah. Okay, you're interested in this? Like, I don't, I can't even tell you how many, how many jumping puzzles are in Guild Wars 2, gang? Uh, dozens. Dozens. At least. How could you love Chalice of Tears? Come on. That's ridiculous. At least 20? There's got to be more than 20, right? All right. Is it in here? There are 44. The base game has 44 jumping puzzles. There you go. Because I showed you proof of doing it with no mesmer and you called me an elitist JP or on stream. Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, man. That's all true. Yeah, no, I, they, they, we've gone over this many times, but if the jumping puzzle is about making the jumps and just the timing and the coordination of doing it, like the clockwork jumping puzzle, that I enjoy kind of trying to work on and get better at and eventually beating. But when it's, when it's, you need a video to guide you through it to even know where you're supposed to go, then I kind of, yeah. Oh no, Marauder, did you just spray yourself in the face with a bidet? Oh my god. Yeah, always change that. Always change the controls to clean mode. I actually have to turn it to, uh... My bidet, I have to change it to clean mode, which pours the water just into the toilet after every time I'm done using it because as you guys were aware last year my son hit the knob while he was getting into the shower and didn't hear the water spraying all over the floor while he was showering until it leaked down onto my shoulder while I was live on the internet streaming remember that that was fun Oh, you don't, yours doesn't have a clean mode? Yeah, so mine has the, a mode where you just turn the knob and it will spray the water just down into the toilet. And it's handy for like warming up the water, you know, beforehand. You remember the panic face you made? Yeah, I was, I, I had no idea while I was suddenly getting leaked on. You thought that was just a few months ago? I have no idea when that was. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was over the side. It must have been... It was after we um, finished redoing the middle floor, though. So I guess it was this year. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. This summer. Whenever it was. Chalice of Tears is to my love of jumping puzzles. What Bog Sun in a bidet combination is to the stream. <laughs> All right, so here's Lambertaint. Hmm, yes, I am Professor Lambertaint. Beg pardon, you wish to hear about my research on corrupted crystals, truly? Well, nothing would give me greater pleasure than discuss my work with a fellow man of science. Oh, God. This is going to be a long-winded explanation, isn't it? Oh, I have to pick one. What is Mithrosilata? Oh, I, no, I can't look at it because it's a helmet, of course. These are different kinds of glasses. Ooh, nice abs. My dad had a pair. Of, my dad wore glasses like this when he was working on uh, patients. How funny. It's a turban. 
All right, we're going to go for the gold this time around. Do, 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 do. You thought bidets were separate thingamabobs from the toilet? Not, I mean, originally, long time ago, it would be a separate, like, porcelain unit. But now you can just buy them on Amazon and they fit onto your existing toilet. And I will say... Life-changing. Not even being funny. Life-changing. Highly recommend. Is this my chocobo being all in the way? Get out of the way, chocobo. Ah, so rare is it to find fellow intellectuals in this region. It is even rarer to find one capable of comprehending the nature of corrupted crystals. That's why I have my chocobo's butt aimed directly at your head. Come to think of it, there was another, a hermit who, to whom the church had given sanctuary. Curious fellow, unsociable, rather daft at first impression, yet possessed of an amazing affinity towards the scientific pursuits. But to the matter at hand, did you say you wish to you wish not to conduct field observations, but to harvest a corrupted crystal? E gods, man! At least take the necessary precautions so that you do not suffer from exposure to its harmful energies. I'm beginning to wonder if you have sufficient qualifications to handle such hazardous materials. Still, your ignorance is somehow endearing. Lucky for you, I have precisely the means by which these inherent dangers may be averted. Simply store the crystal you seek within its warded pot to protect yourself from its del deleterious effects. Though I suppose you will be bombarded with its energies until you place it within the vessel. Well, perhaps it shall motivate you to work quickly. In any case, take the pot to ha ha Sako, a student of mine monitoring the flow of ether at Highbridge. Explain to him your quest. He shall instruct you. Okay. Lover man, thanks for following. We're going to go to ha ha Sako. Sucker. All right, let's go. This explanation is so much better with a chocobo butt in the face. Yeah, I, I liked how that all worked out for sure. Dry bone. I wonder if Drybone region was named as a nod to the Drybone character in uh, the Super Mario world. Which Drybone comes first? That's a terrible sentence to say. You're just pumped you finally found the Final Fantasy streamer that is entertaining and not seven years ahead of me in the main story quests? Who is it? I would like to find an entertaining streamer on Twitch too. Um, Where's this person? Oh. Oh. They won't let me leap? Get off of your behemoth, please. Oh my god, these little ropes. Aha, Sako! How many times must I be made to explain myself? I am not contemplating suicide, you imbecile. I have chosen this person. 34, 34, 34, 34, 44. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's a resub. Thanks, Fatal. How you doing? Thank you for the resub. Welcome. This is the last quest you did? Oh no, now I'm all nervous. Like, what happened in this quest that made you nope out? I have chosen this precise position to perform scientific measurements. Hand over the warded pot. What have we here? A containment vessel? Why, this is the handiwork of Professor Lambertaint. You thieving knave, I shall call for the- Oh, you say the man himself lent it to you. Then you must have sought me out per her, his instruction, which means he believes me experienced enough to expound upon his explanations. At last, the recognition I so rightfully deserve. Okay. What does this stuff look like? It's all about what it looks like. Eh, it's pretty fancy. It is a gift. A, a gift, gift to, to the, the friends, friends of, of the otters. otters. Resistance Fox just gifted a sub to Loverman. 
Thank you so much, Fox. And congrats to Loverman. That's our first newer gifted sub of the day. If we get four more, we'll do a Game Vault giveaway. 39 gifted subs on Resistance Fox 2's account. And, um... Yeah. Now you get all the emotes. Now you get all the emotes and stuff. Yeah. What's the... What are we linking? Oh, just wait till you see... Oh, bog with horses. Is that... That, that is lie and slanders. Everything in that video. I don't know Rose... I don't know where Rose Wolf got that footage from. I don't know. Slander. Oh, frabjous day. Kalu kale that I should be... Ch <laughs> There's something really, really funny to me. The fact that this is the guy that made Murrunner quit Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> oh, from just day, Kalu Kale, that I should be chosen to guide this man. Yes, I, Hahasako, greatest of Professor Lambertain's pupils, shall see that you successfully quarry your quarry. Your timing is impeccable, in fact. It was the Kaloub Calais for sure. Yes, it must be. Yeah, for... <laughs> I was just preparing for cure. 33! <laughs> can't even read. 33! Oh, man. Sassy with the 33. What's up? How you doing? Thanks for the reset. Uh, I was just preparing to procure corrupted crystals from the burning wall for my personal research. The, there, the devastating destruction caused by the calamity has blessed us with a bounty of sublime specimens. But something tells me that naught but a perfect piece will satisfy your high standards. In which case, you must needs... Oh, everybody drink. This is an early drink. We just started. You must needs descend to the deepest depths. Amidst the flowing waters and the murderous Miro Knights lies the most fantastic formation I have found thus far. Take this highly advanced researcher's tool and use it to separate a small fragment from the large cluster. Place it within the warded pot and bear it back to me for inspection. The path which leads from Burgundy Falls to the base of the burning wall is treacherous and terrifying, but advance with appropriate caution and you shall surely survive. Use them all to fracture the corrupted cluster. It's a cluster. Where are we going? <gasps> it's so far. We have to go to Burgundy Falls. Is it down? Is it down? Hmm. Maybe not. I must needs be careful. It's time to break my antelope's back. It's a furble. Wait, I never repaired my stuff. Can I repair here? Can you repair at any old shop? I keep forgetting. Here's, here's Cha Chaman. Uh. A soiled femur. Ew. The dirty bone of a large beast. Why are you selling dirty bones? I don't think this place has repairs. Any mender can look for a hammer icon on your minimap. Oh, well. We'll do it soon. Somebody remind me. This may not be the exact one because it was on a dungeon, but this was very near the... Okay. Gotcha. We just did a dungeon yesterday at the very, at like near the end of the stream. So I don't know when the next one is, but. You did like this game. You blame Animal Crossing for stopping playing. You can always come back. I feel like if you and your mom played it together, you guys would stick to it more. Kazaka. Floating stone.
we need final fantasy mounts to have the same ai as red dead redemption 2 ponies they do it on purpose there was such a striking difference because i played red dead and then played ghost of tsushima like right after it and you ride around on a horse on that too and in ghost of tsushima you ride past branches and bushes and trees and stuff like that and you know the leaves and the branches whip past you but nothing happens your character just bolts on full speed riding your mount and it's great red dead redemption 2 a stiff breeze and your horse will rear up a slight leaf from a branch arthur will go tumbling head over foot off the horse mass calamity they do it on purpose they make it so that every time you get on a mount treachery is not far behind is it down there this is going to be the dumbest thing I've done do all day. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe not. All right. Um fine. They won't let me uh just jump. It's probably good. But they don't let you. We have to get, we find, have to find a way down. How would one find a way down? Uh. Aha. There we go. There's a corrupted cluster. All right, let's get rid of the mirror knight. Hello. Oh, you know what I never did? I never put spine shatter dive on a, uh, on a bound key. M -m -m Mama always said that 72 months is the devil. Oh my goodness. Go fighter soon. Anna Kanatka, what's going on? How are you doing? There's a blast from the past. I hope you've been well. How's it going? Uh, Shaveri says, do you have any store mounts? Uh, I have three mounts. I have the antelope stag, which somebody gave to me. The chocobo obviously and then i got the behemoth from the achievement vendor i think yeah not much difference when you ride the horse off a bridge though them's fighting words sparkwood okay so what am i doing here use use them all Okay, use the warded pot. On the crystal. There we go. Alright, so now we can go back. Camp dry bone. Actually, do I want to climb out of here? No, it's probably easier going from camp dry bone. Yeah, Anakanaka says, hey, I've been here in between, just lurking. Yeah, no, that's cool. I just uh, wanted to say hello. I haven't said hello to you in a long, 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 long time. I appreciate you uh, keeping your sub active for, uh, for all this time. Amazing. Thankfully, there was no train on this bridge, right? Dragus Nanny. They're pretty cute. They are pretty cute. They probably smell really bad.
I bet Camp Drybone had a repair guy, and I just missed it. I see you have come galumphing back. Have you the crystal then? I do. What a prodigiously large and lovely crystal. Professor Lambertaint will doubtless chortle with joy when you present it to him in person. Oh, and upon your return, do remember to recount how I helped you with your harvesting. All right. So we gotta go back to Lambertaint. I'll walk this time. It's not that far. They look strong. Why can't we ride one of those? You can't ride one of these guys? Yeah, they look they look stronger than this thing. Well, I gotta check your D Discord DMs. I gave you a present. What did you do? Oh, man. Did you send me a mount? So what do I do? I have to redeem that on the Mog Station? Thank you so much. Alright, let me get down here. And let me see. Is there a place to repair here? Yes. I must needs repair. Is it inside? Merchant and Mender. Yes. Repair my gear. Repair all. Ah, that feels so good. What? Each item has class and level restrictions on who can repair it. This information can be viewed. Disciples of the Hand must also use the proper grade of Dark Matter to complete the repairs. Dark Matter can be purchased from Grand Company Quartermasters? What? Alright, whatever. We'll figure that out when we need. Alright, let me see. Can I log into the Mog Station over here? Mog Station! Log in. Oh, one-time password. Again. Okay. And then under item code, I paste this in under item code. Oh my goodness. Um I'm trying to find it. Is it optional items? No. That's only for repairing your own gear. NPCs will repair everything. I don't know what that means. Your own gear. Oh, if you want to do it on your own, like when you're not near a vendor, Alright, so I'm logged in. Uh... I'm not seeing where to put it. Where would I stick it? Where would I stick it, gang? Should be under manage service. I don't want to show anything I shouldn't show. That's the wrong place. Log station. Manage service options. Enter item code. Next. 
Next. Complete. Your item code registration has been complete. The redeemed item will be delivered to all characters designated during registration. Okay, so how do I get it in game? Do I have to log out, log back in or anything like that? Thank you so much, Shiveria. You get a Moogle mail. No letters for you me today. Give it a minute and you'll get a mail. Oh, nice. It'll make a sound. Okay. All right, let's go turn in this other quest. You can see that you have unread mail next to the Adam Twas. Okay, in the upper left. Lambertine. My keen scholar sent. Wow, a little too close. Dude, a little too close, man. It would grant me a moment, examine the crystal. Ah, it is as you desired, a corrupted crystal overflowing. Remind me for what purpose you intend to use this crystal again? What? To breach a barrier comprised of wind aspected ether? Oh dear, this may prove problematic as this crystal would only serve to strengthen the barrier. I suppose I am at fault for not inquiring as to your objectives from the start. Had I known your intent, I would never have sent you to Hahasako. But what is science if not trial and error? And you can truly say that this is this failure has taught you nothing? Are you kidding me? Let me guess. You're gonna have to do this three times. It always comes in threes. Think, man. You now understand the methods necessary to safely collect a corrupted crystal. You will doubtless have no difficulty doing so once more. What's more, the crystal you collected can serve as an invaluable resource for the etheric studies conducted by the students of Baldesian. You've heard of them. You've heard of them? Well, I don't mean to boast, but I have a professional relationship with the organization. Not as equals, of course. I would never be as bold to claim that level of expertise. Are you all right? Your eyes seem to have glazed over for a moment. Anyway, I shan't keep you from your task. You still have a crisp, corrupted crystal to find. You jerk nose. I'm collecting skins. Lambertaint, you fool. All right, students, Cena. Going to Cena. All right. My person's not here, are they? They're not down there. Cena. Is that you? <gasps> Hello. Eh? Corrupted crystals? Sir, I've no interest in being the butt of your joke, so if you've no other reason for addressing me, kindly leave me be. Uh, how about this? Well, I'll be damned. Professor Lambertain did send you. Beg your pardon. It seems we got off on the wrong foot. I'm Cena, greatest of the professor's pupils, which is doubtless why he bid me s you seek me out. Indeed, I am an accomplished scholar with an extensive background in... Oh, God, just listen to me prattle on and on. Um, padded linen trousers. Okay, fine. I believe that the area surrounding Pharos Sirius is replete with corrupted crystals. Unfortunately, I've yet to test my hypothesis, as all access to the Isles of Umbra is prohibited at present for reasons unknown to me. You see, my attempts to acquire this information are often met with annoyance and disdain. It's rather puzzling, since I always take the time to explain my motivations in great detail to the subjects of my questioning. Mayhap, you will have better luck wresting information from these yellow jackets, but I've all given up at this point. Question the yellow jackets. Gotta go talk to bees. 
It's the bees! All right. I have no uh, opinion of the strength of uh, Khan Isena. None. Ah, you startled me. Don't you know better than to sneak up a person at a time like this with all this fatuous gops of spirits and specters haunting the Isles of Umbral? Just because uh, I know it's nonsense doesn't make it less, any less frightening. Okay. That was useful. Uh. I bet Ferkman's gonna help us. Ferkman! You're keen on traveling the Isles of Umbra? Bloody hells, lad. Are you drunk or just crazy? There ain't nothing there but death. Death? And more death. And then I love I love random doors that aren't doors in this game. Oh my god, let me jump off cliffs. Flash. Flash. Oh, come on. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is fancy over here. Oh, you got a prison? The Isles of Umbra, what interest have you in that godforsaken place? Ever since we were forced to abandon Pharaoh Sirius, the Isles have become not more than a graveyard for ships unable to navigate the shores, and a purgatory for the souls dragged down to the depths with them. They're deliberately wasting my time. You spend an absurd amount of time wandering aimlessly into doors? Oh my god. There's so many fake doors. I do like the flying mermaid statue here, though. In the lighthouse. It's a pretty place. Oh my god, Azari just walked past my front door. Scared the crap out of me. Ah, Bog, you've returned. Tell me your findings. R -r really Infested with undead, you say? That is very, very interesting development. Excuse me for a while while I gather my thoughts. Oh. Have you gathered your thoughts? Worry not, my friend. I've given your findings some thought, and I've concluded that this talk of spirits is not more than local folklore. As for why all travel to the Isles of Umbra is restricted, well, mayhap it's considered too dangerous owing to the abandonment of Pharos Sirius. Yes, well, anyway, while you were questioning those yellow jackets, I paid a visit to the local pub, since even an esteemed scholar like myself enjoys dulling her wits on occasion. Ah, it was there that I heard of a man named Skyfrin, who was recently detained after returning from, wait for it, the Isles of Umbra. This is the first I've heard someone actually traveling to and from there. So I'm curious to uh, how he obtained permission. Mind having a chat with him? Is he going to be like in that little cell that we just were at? Yes, he's going to be in that little cell we just saw. Wee, wee, wee. Okay. It's very quiet here. So I probably missed this explanation somewhere along the story or I've forgotten. But what exactly is this? What is that? What is that exactly? I mean, it looks like a bolt of lightning in the... Uh, but fire. A, a bolt of fire. Tore through that building and then stopped. Midway through. Nice. 
No? Yes? Si, si. Oui, oui. No, no. Fire a bolto. Oh. Joe doesn't know. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. That's leftover corrupted crystals from when Bahamut attacked, I believe, the 1.0 trailer where everything blew up. Okay. And so they still use, like, this castle? Or is that castle just like, we don't go there no more? All right, Sky. I have to go back. She calls to me, sings to me. Tell Mimidoa, I'm sorry. Give him this. He was, he was right. Or you could release me. Yes, yes. Release me. I will go and tell her. Let me, let me go to her. It's an optional dungeon and it's pretty cool. Oh, all right. I like optional dungeons. Oh, man. I'm gonna need a second cup of coffee. It's funny, Bog doesn't have a second cup of coffee while at home. Actually, he does. Why did Skyfrin say... What did he say? Mm, that's not terribly helpful. I couldn't care less how much he misses his favorite bar wench. But what was that about a man named Mimidoa? Wait, I know that name. That's the bastard who grabbed my arse the other day at the pub. <laughs> what? Well, if you want to give him that feather, be my guest. I'm not going anywhere near him in his wandering hands. All right, we're going to go punch him in the nose and then give him a feather. Keep your damn hands to yourself, you arse grabber. Oh, he's a Lalafell too. <laughs> is he about to grab butt? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. This is Extra epic otter. What's up? How you doing? He's got a mustache too. Are you kidding? What a creep. Another initiate, are you? No? Then what are you? Speak up, son. I can't hear you. Ah, bugger me. Is this what I, I think it is? No, it could be. Yeah, you found it. Where, where did you, where did you find it? Skyfern, yeah, uh, uh, I was hoping to have a word with the lad, but it sounds like there's not left Twix's ears. He was supposed to help patch up Pharaoh Sirius, he was. Company sent me to supervise the lot of them. We're, uh, weren't getting any work done on their own, you see. Half of them walked off, half of them ran off, half of them vanished. That's three halves. What's that? You be looking for passage to the Isles of Umbra? Why didn't you say so? I've been thinking of dispatching someone to take a look on behalf of uh, Mimidoa. Tell me how the land lies. Ain't nobody been interested till you came a calling. Whole port's up in arms about spirits and so forth. If I had the gill, I'd hire some cell swords and let them sort it out. But you'll do it a pinch. You'll, uh, you will. Show this parchment to the skipper and he'll see you back. What? Okay. We're going? We're going to a ghosty place? I'm the ghost with the most. You want a Zagnut? So you went and had a word with Mimidoa. I hope the valuable time you saw fit to waste amounted to something. You mean that disgusting creature was Skyfriend's super superior? I find that hard to believe, but this writ of passage does appear to be genuine, so it must be true. I must say it's a relief to work with such an industrious man as you. I look forward to hearing of the discoveries you will make on the Isles of Umbra without me. All right, this is not gonna go well. Fine, fine. I failed to see the justification for dragging me along on your journey, but if you assist, I will go as well. Bye. But 12 is my witness. If you leave me behind to be devoured by some horrid abomination, I shall come back to haunt you. That sounds fair. That sounds fair. I don't think we're going to do that.
we're gonna go we're going on a ship sailing to the isle of umbra we're going to find lots of spirits all right fairy skipper let me just uh i hear azari awake i'm gonna go just check on her real quick and start up some coffee I'm right there All right, here we go. <laughs> this just in seven foot tall tiger person breaks antelope spine on local dock. Yes. It's poor man. I can't wait to see what the, uh, what Shaveria sent me. Ha, ah, take me to the Isles of Umbra, he bids, as if it's simple as... Oh, I see you got a red passage. All right, then, climb aboard. Yay! I gotta figure out where this is in the world, too. Where are we? Oh, it's right off the coast. Okay, so it's a, like an island... Off the coast of this island. Yeah, film at 11. You were at the base of the castle we just talked about earlier. Oh, am I? I can't even see it now. I can't even look up to see the uh, stuff. This doesn't seem all that bad. <gasps> it's a pinky fluff. I'm not saying I'd like to better build a summer home here, but oh, the hell's with this. Here, take your pot and go on without me. You've harvested corrupted crystals before, right? That's true. I have. She ran away. Show the warded pot to David? Where, where is David? Oh, hey, David. Beg your pardon, sir, but how did you come here? Access to the island is currently restricted. An old pot. I'm not sure I follow. Oh, I see. You wish to harvest a crystal corrupted crystal. Sorry, friend, but you have to return empty-handed. Yeah, I don't know. I've come all this way, and I don't think uh, someone that looks like you is going to be stopping me. The writ Master Mimidoa gave you uh, may grant you access to the island, but only authorized personnel may proceed past this point. Why, you ask? Well, look up and see for yourself. When the giant mass of crystals struck the lighthouse, it caused severe damage to both the structure and the machinery within the ones powered uh, the beacon. Aye, contrary to what the small folk would have you believe, the fires of Pharaoh Sirius were not the product of mage's thaumaturgy or a colossal arcane bomb, but an elaborate contraption fueled by ethereal energy. Repairs are still ongoing, but it's anyone's guess when they will be complete. 
What's worse, all work has ceased since rumors of the Walking Dead drove off our entire crew. Not that the rumors are incorrect, I've observed the fiends from a distance at the ship graveyard to the south. What's drawn them to our shores is still a mystery, though. I'll make you a deal, Bog. Help me unravel this mystery. I'll bring you your corrupted crystal. In fact, I shall begin searching for one that satisfies your requirements. As for where to begin your inquiries, it happens that a party of three adventurers came ashore not long ago seeking to scavenge valuable trinkets at the shipyard. I'd be surprised if they knew nothing of the undead infestation, so it might behoove you to question them. Speak with adventurers. I still can't properly look up. Ugh. Craning my neck. 